Okay guys, hang on to your hang on to your hats. This is probably going to get a little crazy. Maybe. <clears throat> oh boy. I'm gonna have to pay attention to what I'm doing here. These rocks are really loose. And you guys probably can't tell how steep this is, but this is really steep. I can't wait till they invent a camera that, you know, that you can actually get a, a you know, a real true to life perspective of what's going on, you know. Until they do, you're just going to have to take my word for it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man, where'd the road go? Oh man. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <clears throat> man, are we gonna make it to the top of this? It's starting to get pretty hairy. Oh, ow. Big bump. Go around this right here. Woo, fell down into that crevice. Man, these tires are doing really good, man. Nice. Okay, I think we're I think we're out of the woods on that. Ooh, a little bit of dippy do here. Ooh, I did, I did hit the the side, going through there. <clears throat> kind of off camber and whatnot. Okay, heading up the switchback. Hope my dad's doing okay back there. But it looks like most of the bad stuff is over with, I hope. But, uh, <clears throat> looks like we might be okay to get to the top here. <clears throat> get up here on the high side. Make it a little smoother, and uh, let's see what we got going on here. We should be close to the close to the peak, I think. It's got to be pretty close. Seems like we've been climbing for a week. This has got to be close, but I know that the peak is over towards that over there. I do remember that. Okay. Yeah, we're heading this way. Look at that, man. It, tell me that ain't pretty, man. That's just a maze balls, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, okay, so it's going to... Yeah, it starts making its way up this spot right here coming up. I can't remember if there's a gate up here. I don't think so. I'm trying to remember if there's a, a gate. Okay, here we go. Now the last stretch to the top, I think. <coughs> 
see what we got here. But my dad's uh, UTV back there has had some mechanical challenges that I mentioned briefly in my last video, but he had to have the uh, steering rack replaced again. And uh, the front drive shaft, <clears throat> the yoke that's connected to, uh, you know, closest to the engine in the front, the bolt came out of that yoke uh, that attaches it to the to the drive to the drive shaft. Um, got him to the splines, you know, that connect it inside the engine there in the front. Uh, that bolt came out somehow, no idea how, and it was just flopping around in there, you know, making all kinds of noise. And then we got a new bolt ordered, you know, because it's a special tiny like you know, four millimeter bolt, a little tiny thing. I don't even know if it was four millimeters. I just made that up, I think. But it was, anyway, it was real short. And there's a washer. So we had to beat the yoke back on, you know, back where it goes and get that tiny little bolt, not tiny little bolt, but tiny short, I mean, back into the shaft and get a wrench on it and slowly like, a not even a quarter turn, like just, you know, maybe like five degrees at a time, turn that bolt until we got it tight. And uh, so that was one of the things and uh, replaced the um, coolant, uh, like a thermostat housing. It's not where the thermostat is, but that's like a thermostat housing. <clears throat> okay, so this is the top, okay? And uh, this is where it gets, uh, this is where it gets super hairy. This is where, this is, this is the part that is really hairy. So we'll see what happens. There's one section of this hill that's already almost always really bad. And now I can't help but wonder, okay, well, how bad is it going to be this time, you know? <clears throat> Since everything else on this trail was so much worse, how bad is this going to be? I mean, I don't even know. But it's usually got really big, deep washouts like this that's coming up, as you can see. And uh, and uh, yeah, so good times. Oh man, I'm a little nervous because this is usually really bad. And how, I just don't even know if we should be messing with this. Because this hill, this hill coming down into the, into where the river is, is usually, I mean, bad enough as it is. Okay, now this is, this is scary. I wish the roof would shut up. Hmm, let's see here. Okay, that was... <clears throat> that was pretty brutal, dudes. That was pretty brutal. Let me see how my dad does. He didn't have no problem with it at all. Okay, let's see what we're doing. We have to get up around this rock. So I have to go high here. And 
Hopefully don't slide into it, keep my hands in. That reminds me of a story, by the way, of somebody who did not keep their hands in. Okay, so now we've got to somehow traverse back over to the other side here. Oh, brutal, dude. That's scary crap. All right, now what do we have here? It almost looks like there's a choice of some kind coming up here. I don't know if that's the case or it's an illusion. Let me see how my dad's doing back there. I can't see him. He's good. Okay, he looks good. He looks good. That's the problem with having a, an aluminum roof, I think, is the uh, vibration and rattle sometimes when it meets the same harmonic as the engine. It just starts picking up vibration real bad. But I do like the aluminum roof because it definitely uh, is tougher more durable looks better looks looks like looks like I spent some money on it kind of thing you know oh wow oh wow ooh got it got a tire up in there got a tire in the air God, I wish I had a camera on the back you know I was uh, when I was leaving today uh, trying I was in a mad scramble because I got home uh, late from work yesterday so I was in a mad scramble to get the cameras ready to go. And I was like, ah, two cameras is all I can cope with. So I just grabbed two cameras and, and, and uh, left, man. Um, and uh, kind of regretting that. Kind of wished I had that. Uh, kind of wished I had that other camera now. Oh, what is going to happen here? Oh, geez Louise, what do we do? Okay, so I think we have to turn in to this. Oh man, was that crazy. Let's see, let's see how my dad does. I mean, if you're not careful, you could easily roll this thing onto its uh, side. Oh yeah. I don't know, it probably feels uh, more alarming inside here than it does uh, look, look how it looks on the outside. <clears throat> but let's, uh, what I'm gonna do here Ah, just go straight. Let's see how it goes. That wasn't so bad. Dude, this ha this has got to be almost over. <laughs> wow. Oh, and by the way, uh, try and picture, you know, going the other way. You know, what that's, what that's like. You know, going up this. It's pretty insane. And as soon as we get to a flat part, that's when I know that it's pretty well over. And I think, I think that that's the case uh, right here. I don't think, I think we made it through the worst of it. <clears throat> and uh, it will be time to just get out a four wheel drive and kind of do a little bit more free falling. We're going to be free falling. But. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was pretty uh that was pretty good, huh? Uh-oh. Did I speak too soon? Son of a biscuit eater, I spoke too soon. Ah. Okay. I spoke a little too soon. We're going to go over this rock instead of uh trying to avoid it. Oh. Because that's the position that I want to be in uh down here. So purposely <clears throat> went over the giant rock, uh, right dead center, and we barely tapped another, uh, you know, testament to the new uh, cubic dollar off-road 
uh, says it's a two inch lip, but for me it was more than two inches. Uh, I did not measure before and after, that's what she said, but I can tell you that it's a lot, it's a lot higher than it was. And uh, it has made a world of difference for me. If you've got a Maverick Trail or a Maverick Sport, I'm telling you, you need to get that uh, cubic dollar uh, lift kit. The more I use it, the more I just don't understand how I uh, lived without it. This machine just comes out of the factory very conservative because of, you know, lawsuits and shit like that, you know. Uh, and, and it comes out of the factory because it's so narrow, it's also very low to the ground, you know. You got to keep the center of gravity low. But you do a few modifications to a trail, man, and it's it's solid like a billy goat, man. It's stable. It's, you know, it's as stable as any other machine that I've been in. Of course, I've never been in any of those like super expensive, really wide, you know, machines like a, you know, like an X3 or those you know, Turbo Razor Pro yada yada is whatever they're calling them this week. And, uh, you know, for normal everyday guy UTVs, this is, you know, one of the most stable I've ever been in. It uh, just got a really low center of gravity and it's now nice and wide. You know, definitely wide enough for its stance for sure. It's uh, 58 inches wide. It, it feels, you know, really rock solid stable as you probably just witnessed. But anyway, we'll go ahead and stick a pin in this video right here for you guys. And we'll pick back up on the way out so you guys can see the, uh, the immense beauty of the way out. And it, it, is, really, it is really something. So we will... Uh, turn the cameras back on then let's see what time is it getting to be let's see here what time is it come on wake up watch 10 26 Ooh, it's still really early yeah it's not even time for lunch yet shoot i'll probably eat lunch though get it out the way get it up out the way but anyway thanks for tuning in guys like comment and subscribe i sure do appreciate it and, uh, you know, because that really helps my videos be seen when uh, people interact, leave comments, you know, that kind of thing. I don't even care what it is. Just say, just say, watch to the end. Let me know you saw the video all the way to the end. Boy, that'd be awesome. And uh, until the next video cometh, thanks for watching, everybody. You take care. And on that end.